Hey guys, it's Eric. And today we're gonna do a quick review of a really great, really cheap lighting setup for your videos. and freest lighting for video is of course the sun. But if you live in the Pacific Northwest like me, the sun can be hard to come by. Plus, the sun is dangerous. So how can you avoid the outdoors and still get good cheap lighting? Not like this. Definitely not like this. But this. A really popular option for cheap lighting these days is these tiny LED lights that mount right on top of your camera. They're pretty convenient to use, easy to set up, they're bright, and they're crap. Okay, they're not totally worthless, but if you ask me, the only thing they're actually good for is being like a fill light or like an accent light, a kicker light, a hair light. Really, the only advantage is that they're small and portable and they're very, very cheap, but they're not your only option. To show you exactly what I mean, here is a scene of a typical just home YouTube studio setup in a dark room lit with only an LED light. The light in this scene is just too direct. It's casting some really not great shadows. And honestly, the worst part is actually the color reproduction. You can tell my skin looks a little bit green and everything in the shot is just a little off. Basically, it looks like crap. But fortunately for you, and for me, there are other options for good cheap lights that are gonna get you much better results. Enter the soft box. The thing with lighting is that it tends to look best when it's soft. This is why whenever you take photos on a cloudy day, they usually turn out pretty good. It's because the sun, which is this harsh direct light, is hitting the clouds and it's being you know, spread, it's being diffused. That's the photog term for it. And that diffused light makes for some really gentle shadows and some nice, beautiful, soft light that looks particularly good on faces. The best way to recreate that soft kind of light is with a soft box. It takes a direct light and diffuses it across this white sheet thing and you get some nice soft light. So here's that same exact YouTube home studio setup, but this time it's lit with just a single soft box. Look at that, softer than a basset hound. The color's pretty decent, there's plenty bright enough, and you can tell, this image is casting the kind of shadows that look much more flattering on a face. This is a really good solution for not a lot of money. For reference, here's that same scene again, side by side, the LED light versus just the soft box. And remember, for both of these, I kept the camera on the exact same settings. Hopefully now you're in the market for a softbox, but which one exactly should you buy? Well, the set that I'm using right now is by a company called Favatech, and this is the Studio Pro line. There's lots of great things about this setup, one of which, of course, is that setting these things up is a breeze. It's not as convenient as a, just a cheap LED light, but it should only take you about four minutes start to finish. The light stands, of course, are totally adjustable, as is the angle at which you can set the softbox. This is a less expensive Chinese product, but I still think the build quality is pretty good. Overall, these things are lightweight, easy to set up, very transportable, and I think they punch above their weight in terms of the results you're gonna get. Something you can do with softboxes that you definitely can't do with other lights is this. They're big and you can set them up in every which kind of way. So if you find a big space like this, you can kind of create this nice, artistic, cool looking scene. Okay, I've said some lovely things about these softboxes and I have lots of more nice things to say, but there's no such thing as a product that doesn't have at least a couple of things that I hate. Thing number one is the power cable on these is way, way too short. You can solve that with an extension cable. It's not really a problem, but it does bug me because these stands are seven and a half feet tall. You'd think the cable would be longer than like six feet or whatever it is. The other one, and this is sort of a small complaint because I do love the fact that these come with a nice travel box. Travel box? Hmm. I do love the fact that these come with a nice travel bag. Inside of it are these two bags that fit each of the soft boxes. Those bags are just way too small. You can barely fit the actual box in there. The final thing is that the CFL bulbs that these come with don't have a proper case. So I ended up just using the foam that they came in to you know, keep them safe during transport. So of course, right when I went to film this video, this exact set 
of softboxes went off of Amazon. The good news is they have a really, really similar set with a slightly smaller set of boxes and slightly brighter bulbs available for around 100 bucks or so. Trust me, folks, that is a bargain for how much these will improve your videos. If you're still too broke for that, here's another set by a company called Fazaton. These go for around 75 bucks and they're pretty much the same thing. If you are still too broke for that, here is a single softbox with the bulb and the socket and the stand and everything you need for 40 bucks. You guys, that's literally cheaper than spending your money on one of these dumb little LED lights. This is not the only way to light your videos, but trust me, coming from a fellow cheapskate filmmaker, this is one of the best, if not the very best and cheapest way to get solid lighting for your videos. Yes, there are much fancier, big, soft LED lights that can be had for a bunch of money, but there's a reason that professional filmmakers for decades have been using softboxes to light million dollar movies and portrait studios and everything you can think of. It's because they work. So with that said, you guys can check out the description below for links to the products I just talked about. And if you think that I missed something in this review, or if you have some questions, hit me up in the comments. I do my very best to make sure I get back to every single one of them. For sure, come hang out with me on Instagram. And if you guys spend more time on Facebook, remember you can watch all of my videos on the Facebook page. Don't forget to like it. And for the rest of y'all here on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And seriously, leave me some comments. What are you guys using for lighting? Do you have soft boxes? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. We'll talk later. Bye.